It's time to go play in the woods, but today we're not down at any local woods or parks, we're in our gardens. Let's go over to Karen and find out why. This weekend, the 29th to 31st of January, is the big garden bird watch. This is the world's largest wildlife survey and you can join in by going to www.rsbp and all you need to do is sign in and then spend some time the weekend either in your garden looking for birds or you can do it just out of your window if you haven't got a garden or out of your front door it doesn't matter all they want to know is how many birds and what kind of birds you can spot the first thing that any bird watcher needs is some binoculars and um, you might have some real ones at home um, which make the birds look bigger but if not try making these binoculars um, to help you focus on the birds. We've just made these out of some toilet rolls and we're going to show you how now. You will need two toilet rolls, some glue or sellotape, some scissors or a hole punch, some string or some wool and some paint, pencil crayons, paper or stickers to decorate the toilet rolls. First thing we are going to do is secure our two toilet rolls together. So you can glue them together. So you put the glue down the middle here and there and stick together like this. But we have found the easiest way to do it is just to use some sellotape. That's it. Okay, and one more, do you want to cut your tape? Okay, great job. Okay, so now we have got our binocular shapes, we need to decorate them. If you want to, you can wrap some paper around your toilet rolls. So what you would do is you would glue, glue along here, along that whole piece of paper, and then wrap it around like this. Okay. So that's what we did with this one. And then we stuck on some leaf shapes that we'd cut out to decorate that one. If you wanted to, you could just cut some strips of paper like this and wrap them around the end of your binoculars. So I'm going to do that for this pair. So I'm just going to measure out there. And then I'm going to decorate these and then stick them on. Okay, so now I've decorated my strips of paper and I'm going to stick them on to my binoculars. So. Now we've decorated our toilet rolls, it's time to make some holes in the side to attach the string. So I've made this one with um, this little hole punch that we have here, but don't worry if you don't have that kind of hole punch, you can ask a grown up to help you make a hole with a pair of scissors, um, just here like that, like I've done there. Okay, remember to ask a grown up for help with that though, because the scissors are pointy at the end. Okay, so now we've got our holes, we need to cut a length of string. So it needs to be long enough so that you can hang your binoculars around your neck. So probably that kind of length. And just pop the string through the hole like this. And just tie it on with an easy knot like this. Maybe a double knot just to keep it nice and secure. There we go. And round to the side as well. Okay, there we have our finished binoculars. Let's go in the garden and have a look for some birds. Here are some of the birds you may see in your garden or from your balcony or window. 
Go to the RSPB website to get a copy of this poster. Karen spotted a blue tit in her garden and a pair of parakeets. And now it's time for a poem with a bit of a difference. So today I've thought about my favourite garden bird that I see every morning, which is a robin. And I've wrote robin down the side of my page. And then I've thought of a sentence for each letter in the word robin. Now you can have a go at this at home, think of your favourite bird you see in the garden, or just your favourite bird, and see if you can write a sentence about that bird with all of the letters in its name. So Robin. Ah, red breast. O, on his own. B, bobbing in and out of trees. I, insect finding. M, nest building. Amazing Robin. Why don't you have a go? That's all we've got time for today. Thanks for watching. We hope you get a chance to go out at the weekend, do a bit of bird spotting in your garden, in your street or in your local area. Bye.